Hello everyone. So last class we discussed about the root locus. In this also we will discuss about extension of the root locus here. So what is the root locus? Root locus is simply gives whenever gain varies from 0 to infinite how the closed loop poles will be varies. Closed loop poles will be variation of closed loop poles is discussed generally. So in the previous class we discussed about the two things one is one is uh, it's a simple k by s g of s equal to k by s is the one example and another example g of s equal to k by s square k by s square if you if you observe here from this closed loop poles are very simple from the characteristic equation closed loop poles are very simple if the if the characteristic equation order increases this order is increases it's very difficult to take k value from 0 to infinite and uh, taking the closed loop poles values it's very very difficult so in order to avoid this difficulty we have to follow the some procedure okay how we can we, we can analysis so we are doing generally closed loop poles closed loop poles gain values dc gain values generally but we will do the shortcut procedure by using the so we will we will draw the root locus diagram root locus diagram for closed loop poles is done by is done by open loop transfer function is done by the open loop transfer function by using this open loop transfer function and we will understand we will find out the root locus for the closed loop poles so how it is possible we are discussing about the closed loop poles but how we were how we will discuss how it is possible by the open loop transfer function so now we have to find out this closed loop closed loop transfer function as well as the open loop transfer function we need to verify this so for the purpose we have to get a relation between open loop transfer function closed loop transfer function poles and zeros because open loop transfer function g of s when we are taking the g of s it has open loop poles and open loop zeros we have the closed loop transfer function it is also have the closed loop poles and closed loop zeros so for the purpose first you take first i will take the open loop transfer function here the open loop transfer function generally we will take like this g of s into h of s i will take in the form of numerator and denominator open loop transfer function has the numerator i will take n of s and denominator is the d of s so this is the first equation okay what is d of s here generally d of s whenever we are d of s is equal to zero generally we will it will give the poles of open loop transfer function open loop transfer function and when n of s is equals to zero we will get zeros of open loop transfer function why we are taking the open loop transfer function right we have open loop transfer function and what is the closed loop transfer function the generally the closed loop transfer function is represented like this g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s will give the closed loop transfer function in this what is 1 plus g of s h of s 1 plus g of s h of s you know that it is the characteristic equation and it will give it will give the closed loop poles which will give the closed loop poles information okay so we will take this characteristic equation that is 1 plus g of s into h of s is equals to 0 right here simply 
so one plus what is g of s g of s is write this value from the equation one k into numerator by denominator and numerator and denominator and is equals to zero so we will solve this we will get d of s plus k into n of s is equals to zero so what is this generally by solving this we will get closed loop poles simply the which will give the closed loop poles the relation is closed loop poles just we analyze the closed loop poles how they are acting so one second right here the closed loop poles closed loop poles we will take we will get the equation that is denominator plus k into numerator is equals to zero so take it equation two just the equation two just the equation two for example generally we are we are discussing about the root locus means we are taking k value from zero to infinite just to stop just substitute put k value is 0 in this equation put k value 0 in this equation what we will get we will get d of s is equals to 0 d of s is equals to 0 put k cl the closed loop pole become d of s is equal to 0 generally d of s is equals to 0 means what is this look at here d of s is equal to 0 pole of open loop transfer function this is the poles of it will give open loop transfer function poles of open loop transfer function but when we are getting k equal to 0 when k value if you take the k value is 0 it will give information poles of the open loop transfer function but we are doing on the closed loop poles next case take the dc gain is infinite put k value is the infinite and what happen d of s plus infinite into n of s is equals to 0 from this we will get n of s into infinite equal to minus d of s from this n of s is equal to minus d of s by infinite something by infinite n of s equals to 0 n of s equals to 0 what is this meaning it is the numerator numerator means zeros of open loop transfer function zeros of open loop transfer function at k equal to infinite at k equal to infinite that means a simple analysis that simple analysis will give that to understand these closed loop poles to understand the closed loop poles in order to get information at k equal 0 just study the poles of the open loop transfer function simply and to understand the system at k equal infinite it will give the information of zeros of open loop transfer function nothing but simply you will understand closed loop poles will give the information of pole, poles of open loop transfer function as well as the zeros of open loop transfer function poles of open loop transfer function will give at k equal to 0 and when k value infinite that will give zeros of the open loop transfer function so k equal to 0 means as simply it will give it will give poles of g of s okay when k value taken infinite it will give zeros of g of s what is this g of s open loop transfer function so by using this phenomena by using this phenomena we will understand the closed loop transfer function simply we will understand the closed loop transfer function okay so so that's why by using the open loop transfer function by studying the open loop transfer function we will study the closed loop stability simply we will study the closed loop stability the system in closed loop 
it is stable or not discuss we will discuss by using the closed loop stability that's why we are using so that's why always i told you by studying the open loop transfer function we will get the information of closed loop start closed loop stability okay because the thing is closed loop poles are nothing but combination of numerator as well as the denominator numerator means this is the open loop open loop poles these are the open loop poles and these are the open loop zeros open loop poles and the open loop zeros by studying this we will get the closed loop transfer function okay so that's why every time taking the dc varying the dc gain varies is difficult by using this concept we will clearly we will clearly understand the root locus once again what is root locus root locus means we have to study the system by giving the k value from 0 to infinite 0 to infinite we will we will study how the closed loop poles are behaving how the closed loop poles are behaving for k equal 0 how what is this value and for k equal infinite what is this value so by studying this that will nothing but we are studying the root locus once again what is the root roots of the characteristic equation characteristic equation means characteristic equation consisting of the poles locus means simply path that means closed loop poles path will be given by this root locus okay so by using this phenomena we will understand we will do we will do some numericals and we will do the we will study the system stability okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you